why is it that you chose to leave aside a flourishing career in acting to want to join the madness of Indian politics? Firstly, let me just say, I did not leave my flourishing career in acting. I just wanted to contribute, to make a contribution in governing, in administration, so that we all flourish together in the near future as a good government, as, as a more flourishing government. That's all I wanted to do so that, you know, being in politics gives you the space to, to perform in a larger scale, to think more about people, and to voice your thoughts, which is very, very important in today's times. I think every youngster in the house will believe that we need to represent their voice also. There are certain things, there are certain um, policies, which is uh, policies addressing the youth, which might not be uh, you know, experienced by our veteran politicians. So they might not be able to frame the right kind of solution to our problems. So here we are, it was high time that we had to step inside politics and start bringing in new, fresher, innovative ideas. That's all I wanted to do. Okay, Imtiaz, you used to be a journalist and a fairly successful journalist. At that, you chose to enter politics in a state where the AIMIM didn't have a very strong base. They come primarily from Hyderabad, obviously very strong there. You're now an MP from Aurangabad. What drove you to politics? Well, let me be very honest about this. Uh, I was a journalist, my dear friends, just like Rahul. I was a journalist with a television channel for 12 years. Uh, I started my career with a newspaper in Maharashtra. I was with them for 12 years. So I had an experience of 24 years as a journalist. And every day was a routine affair, running after news. But one fine day, I realized that after 24 years, my experience was that whatever you write in the newspaper, whatever you show on television news channels, in the name of democracy, the ultimate power rests with the people who you elect. So it's those 400, 500 odd parliamentarians who actually run the show in this country. You may feel satisfied writing a, writing a good story in the, in the newspaper. You may feel satisfied, happy, showing a good story. But does it have an impact? No, it doesn't have an impact if you really want to bring about the change. I said, if I really want to change the system, then I will have to be a part of that system. And thus, I took that decision. So after running after the news for 24 long years, one fine day, Rahul, I decided, why run, off the, uh, run after the news? Why not me be the news myself? And so I decided to quit journalism. I entered politics just one month, to be precise, just 22 days before the elections, I decided I went to my hometown in Aurangabad. I was heading the Western Maharashtra Bureau for a television channel in Pune. And when I went to Aurangabad, all the shady characters of my city, all the shady characters, criminals of my city, were vying to get a ticket from different political parties. I told my friends, how could you allow this guy to, to be your MLA, to be your leader? He has shady character. He has criminal cases against him. How can you allow him to be your leader? And there was, when I researched, I found that there was not a single politician who was educated and who was trying to get a ticket. So one fine day, we were sitting in a dhaba, and I was trying to convince my friend, why don't you take a ticket? You're educated, you have finance, you have everything, you could easily win. And he got irritated and he said, do you think it's that easy to win elections? Now you have left your job, you are no more a journalist, you're not doing anything. Why don't you join politics? And that night, I gave a serious thought. Why am I telling others? Why can't I plunge into politics? The next morning, I told my mother, Mom, I want to contest elections. And she thought I, was, I got crazy. She thought I lost my job. I, I don't have a job. And she said, hey, you go and spend some time with your family somewhere. Don't think about this thing. But I was firm in my decision. And ultimately, I decided, yes, I will try my luck. In those 22 days, I worked 20 hours every day. And when I contested and fought the elections, I won with a thumping majority of 20,000 lead against three sitting MLAs. So that was a transformation that I took from running after the news.